Welcome to episode 43 of the Dealers Compress podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today I will be your host like every other week. It's not different than any other week. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. I got something awesome in the mail today, and if you're just listening, I will explain it in great detail. If you're watching, well, you see what's about to open. I'm opening a box, I'm rustling paper, taking something out of the box, and what is it? The Clarity edition nike air force ones here let me just show you so these sneakers are white black they have a cool black mesh actually it's a graphite gray and if you look on the back it says clarity i talk a lot about reminders on the podcast and just in general and when i say reminders i mean having things around me that remind me of the things that matter and so that's why the clarity flag and the we don't expect it to be easy that's uh, plastered on the door of my car and the wall in my office. These are things that remind me because life is full of tension and full of pushback. And so I need reminders to keep me going to keep me focused and on target. And by the way, if you're interested, Nike ID, ID, you can customize shoes. It's so cool. If you like the way these look and you want a clarity edition sneaker, just hit me up, DM, send me an email. I will send you the link so that you can get this exact pair um, or you can customize it and change it so you like it. Just a little fun thing. A few things going on, a few things on my mind in this week. I want to talk about uh, really the recession murmurings that I've been hearing. And like, I don't want to just talk about it as if like, oh my gosh, it's impending, it's going to happen. Um, we've had a few episodes back. We talked about well, a little more than a few back in September kind of talked about the 10 year anniversary from the 2008 recession, which I lived through as a business person. And one of the concerns is that, you know, if you're successful right now in business and you've, you've been in business for less than 10 years, then you don't know what it's like to go through a recession. Thinking through like people saying there's going to be a market correction and it's going to happen. And I guess it is inevitable. It always goes up and down. Is that going to be this year or in two years or in four years? I don't know. Nobody really knows. But it brings to mind some really important points when it comes to the message that's closest to my heart. And that is branding, right? And the value of branding in a recession is actually something you should consider when you're not in a recession, aka right now. Branding is something that carries its value even when the markets drop. Branding is something that carries its value even when your ad spend has to go down, right? Because what happens in a recession? Budgets tighten, right? So everyone starts trimming the fat, trimming the fat, and inevitably the ad budget gets hit and the ad budget goes down. So when you're spending ad money, to run ads, sales pieces, all that stuff that's driving traffic and all of a sudden you can spend less, what happens to your sales? Well, they're gonna go down as a result of less spending. However, if you have invested and you have a carefully crafted brand that people connect with, a crafted brand that people affiliate with, then guess what? You're already in their mind. More than in your mind, you're already part of their life. There's a little equation that I came up with this year and um. I think it's really effective in communicating this. And it goes like this, a sales conversion equals one sale. A brand conversion equals religion. I guess that's the universal sign for religion. <laughs> I'm just spreading my hands over top of my head. But when you think about religion, right? And it's not, I'm not talking about faith, but I'm talking about religion and saying, I religiously do this. Religion is a set of behaviors it is what I do. It is who I am. It is how I define myself. And if you convert somebody to your brand, you have now made it their religion. It's part of their person, part of their being. So the strongest brand connections already affect someone's behavior. I like playing sports, but I'm not by any means like an athlete, but I like Nike. Why? Because I affiliate with that mentality. Let's go get it. Let's not wait for anybody to give it to us. Let's go get it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be worth it. So I wear Nikes. Not because they sent me a coupon when I was an in-market shopper for sneakers, but because they've been brand marketing to me all my life and I understand what they are. As recession talks are you know, showing up and people are starting to talk about it, I think it's a great time to take a look at your brand equity and take a look at why people buy from you. Ad spend, right? Think about you spend money and then the second you stop spending money, what happens? The results drop off. Why? Because the dollars are driving the attention. 
However, when you start invest in brand and you build brand and you start converting people to your brand, that equity that you're building is not tied to a monthly spend. It's tied to the fact that you did the work and you went about it in a good way that where you connected with the people that should care about you and should affiliate. You've done all that work and now they care about you and now they're affiliated with you. So when the market drops and your ad spend drops, right, your brand equity is here because you've built it up and your ad spend, when it drops, guess what? The brand equity is still in place. It's still intact and it makes your ad spend more efficient. So before the recession is an amazing time to invest in your brand and really get that straight because that's the center point of your advertising. You don't make content before you understand your brand. And I always say your brand isn't your logo. Your brand isn't a color scheme. Your brand isn't a building. It's the feeling that other people get when they hear your name, interact with your company, see one of your people, see one of your products. That's what it is. I think brand is more effectively a reflection of ourselves. So when I see the Nike logo, it's not that they are that. It's that I see myself in that. Get it? So before the recession, now's the time to focus on your brand. Focus on the connection. Build it now because inevitably ad spends will go down. And frankly, from where I'm sitting with, you know, with an agency that's brand first and does a really good job at connecting with people on a brand level, I think that it's going to be great for our business just because people are going to be seeking out a more efficient way to spend their marketing budgets. Good segue into the fact that one thing, that awesome thing that happened this week is that we launched kind of, it was kind of a, a soft launch of a brand for one of our large dealership clients. And this brand is, I'll talk about it more in the future and show you some stuff. It'll be a lot of fun. But one of the things, the takeaway is that this brand has been met with actual relief. If you're not familiar with the automotive market, data shows us that like 90% of consumers actually expect a hassle when they go into a car dealership. They actually expect it. But when people have walked into the store or saw the marketing um, or responded onto Facebook and, and Instagram content, you know what the overwhelming feeling has been? Sentiment that's been communicated? Relief. Think about that for a second. The brand incites a feeling of relief. Do you think that that is something that converts people to the brand that leads them to the religion of doing business with that company? You better believe it does. Brand is not something that can be faked. So, like, we're talking about. Good branding, right? Connects with people at what matters to them, right? It takes a lot of work to get there, right? It isn't just let's come up with a new design. It is a deep search. It is a deep understanding of what the customer wants, what the company can offer, the organization, and how those two things interact and come together. But a brand can't be anything, it can't be effective if there's not the operations or the product to back it up. If you have a crap product and your brand is quality, guess what? Your brand isn't going to be around long because it's inauthentic. So companies that partner with us have to have the right raw material is what I say. You have the raw material to do something great. And then the brand, the brand work and the, the design work and the content creation and the messaging, all that flows out of the raw material, if that makes sense. That reminds me of a post I made on LinkedIn a couple of days ago. The principle is brand beats the algorithm. It beats algorithm hacks. Why? Because brand cannot be hacked. It is impossible to hack brand. Completely impossible. Because brand has to be the real thing. If you have a strong brand, you can't shortcut your way there. If you try to shortcut it, if like you say, I just need a great employment video. You can make a great employment video, but unless that's tethered to a strategy and messaging that's consistent and cohesive throughout the organization, it's just a great video. Anybody can pay money for a great video. Facebook is constantly changing, especially now. Google is constantly changing the algorithm. They are trying to weed out the cesspool of people just trying to hack, 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 hack. Brand beats the algorithm hacks because brand can't be hacked. Algorithm hacks, optimize your SEO, new ways to use Facebook, new ways to use AdWords, like all those things are good. Views and clicks aren't bad. Engagement is good, but doing little things to increase those, it feels good for a moment, right? We usually pay some money, we get some results, 
we feel good about ourselves, but guess what? Then the advantage ends. And then you have to do it again. And then you have to do it again. And that cycle just repeats for all of eternity. Brand, good connection and sentiment with the customer. The companies that invest in that, guess what? You then pull yourself out of that cycle of constant media buying and algorithm hacking. And depending on those breaths, it's like getting pushed underwater and you find a hack and you <gasps> take a breath and then you get pushed back under by everyone else trying the same thing. And then you come back up, <gasps> another big breath. Brand beats those things. So that's just what's been on my mind. It's possible. And most companies don't know how to do it, which is why it's fun to have a branding agency because it's what I love to do. Recession stuff, how that affects your marketing, your branding, what you should be doing now so that you know what you will be doing then will be effective. Yeah, so that that's it for episode 43. A couple things that I'd, I'd like you to know. Number one, like it's going down in LinkedIn lately. LinkedIn is becoming an actual social media platform. So if you haven't been on LinkedIn in a while, I mean, it used to be just a recruiting tool. It's where you go if you want to get recruited. Not anymore. If you haven't been on LinkedIn in a while, it's a great opportunity to revisit your account, update your profile, and connect with me on LinkedIn and just pay attention for a little bit. There's a lot of great conversation going on. And just in general in LinkedIn, if you're B2B, um, if you just are trying to learn about your industry, LinkedIn has become a real platform. What else? ClarityCon 2019. Last week we announced you can go to pursueclarity.com. It's linked down below. Pursueclarity.com and sign up to be the first to know as things uh, come across. You know, we've we've already started bouncing a bunch of ideas. Maribel at VaynerMedia has already been sending over referrals and we're trying to put together a really cool event. We're trying to decide what exactly it's going to be. We're probably going to need some feedback from the community to see what would be most valuable for you. The wheels are turning on ClarityCon 2019. Couldn't be more excited. And um, yeah, so that's the kind of big things that are happening. What can we help you with? What can I help you with? Please send more questions in. Um, been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of questions lately. It's a great fun to answer them. I think I'm going to start featuring some of them on the show. And uh, aside from that, thank you as usual for being a part of this community, connecting, listening, learning from one another. And uh, I think there are really good things ahead for branding. I think there are really good things ahead for us as a community who are paying attention to the right things, recession or not, cycles, right? Seasons, they come and they go, not worried about that. Do the smart things now so you can be doing the smart things then. It all ties together. Thank you for listening to episode 43. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next week. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep. But now